What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about the five best baits for pier fishing. But before we get to that, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications so you can be alerted when I drop a new video. So let's get to it. The first bait is one everybody uses and basically the go-to for pier fishing, which is shrimp. If you're going to use shrimp though, don't use those big frozen bags in Costco. Get some fresh stuff and wild stuff is better too. I like the wild Madagascar shrimp if you can get it. But one of the bad things about using shrimp is you got to keep them cool. Another bad thing about them is that every time you get a fish, you need to rebait or you get a bite, you have to rebait because the shrimp come off real easy. One way to solve this is to salt your shrimp ahead of time with some pickling salt or non-iodized salt will work as well. Alternatively, if you're just out there and you have some shrimp, you can slice them vertically and leave them out to dry and they'll toughen up a little bit. It's not as good as curing them with the salt, but it's a lot better than just straight out the bag. So number four on the list is squid. Now it's a lot better than shrimp for longevity and even keeping it out in the sun, you don't have to keep them as cool because they'll last a bit longer. So they'll, they stay on the hook a lot better and I really like to use squid to tip my sabikis with because they stay on there for many tiny fish. So even better than fresh squid though is pickled squid and I've got two kinds here, DNG baits and rays. The DNG is my favorite. They seem to add sugar and spices in here and I find I get a lot more bites and it's just a better product all around. Um, the ray is only tried once and you can see the bottles kind of going black. That's kind of how you know the bottle's almost done. These usually last about a week if you don't keep them refrigerated and then they'll start smelling. But if you keep them refrigerated and cool, they'll last indefinitely. Moving on to number three, we've got fish bites. Fish bites are awesome. They come in these little packets. They're very small profile. You keep them in your bag. They never go bad. These ones are the fast acting. There's two types. There's long lasting and fast acting. The long lasting actually has a mesh inside, which will keep the bait on your hook a lot longer. These fast acting ones will also stay on your hook for quite a while, but they dissolve more in the water. And if you leave them out there for about half an hour, they'll dissolve to almost nothing. It's, it'll just be like a mush around your hook. And they come in these little strips or you can buy pre-cut, but I like the strips better because you can cut them to whatever size you like. So you can cut off a tiny sliver and put that on a size 10 hook or you can use a giant piece. Another good th thing to do with these is use these with shrimp. So you put a piece of this on and some fresh shrimp. So the nice thing with using a piece of this and shrimp is if a fish bites, but you don't hook up, you always know that you got something on the hook still. Whereas with the shrimp, you got to wind it up and check your line. But I find this actually outfishes fresh shrimp a lot. And I think that might have something to do with the colors. This one's just yellow, but my favorite color is chartreuse. And that'll show up from a long way off. And also the type I like is shrimp. That's the best flavor, but actually all the fish bites will work and all the colors will work. Another good color is the electric chicken, which is like a green and orange. The downside to these fish bites though is in Washington state, you can only get them online. I don't know any bait shops. And if you know any, let me know in the comments, but none of them sell this around here. So as a consequence, I have to buy it on Amazon or other bait shops. And you can go to fishbites.com and uh, they'll sell them there, but you got to pay shipping. So usually I just get it on Amazon because I can get it in a day or two. And then it's $8 for one of these bags. But uh, usually one of these bags will last. I always like to keep a bag of these in my fishing bag. So I've always got some kind of bait. But if you're in Washington state and you need something the next day, you got the Berkeley Gulp sandworms. These are a great bait. 
I mean, they have a really good action. They're just these little soft plastics. They stay on the hook forever. And they smell great. See, just like me holding that, it's got a little shake to the tail. So in the water, fish can't resist this. And I think these actually outfish a lot of the stationary fishing. What I noticed with a lot of guys is they'll go and fish and they'll cast out and they'll just keep their rod in the same spot. And you gotta hope that the fish are in that spot or at least come to that spot. With the sandworms, what you do is you can kind of jig the um, rig slowly towards you and you don't have to do much, but just like a little drag, you know, like to give it motion and cover some area. And actually you can do that for um, bait, like the uh, previous three I mentioned, just, but you can't really do it very fast. I like to do about a yard or two a minute with uh, baits, but these you can go a lot quicker, cover more ground, find where the fish are. The bad thing is they dry out if you leave it open. So you need some booster juice. So you get some Gulp Alive Recharge and that stuff works great. I uh, don't, um, have to use a lot, just a few drops will freshen up this bag. Uh, these are also pretty cheap. They're about $6 for one of these bags and you get 24. So it's about 30 cents per piece. Not too bad. One thing a lot of people think these are just for surf perch fishing, but they'll catch anything. They'll catch greenling, they'll catch uh, sculpin, they'll catch flatfish. Pretty much anything will hit these. Sometimes you'll get really small fish that'll bite the tails off of it, but that's not too bad. So to prevent little fish, um, that brings me to my next bait, which are paddle tails. Little two and a half to three inch paddle tails. Um, I like these because pretty much anything will hit it, but it's a bigger profile. Lots of times, decent fish will hit this one as well. Um, if you can afford it, go for the Kitex. They're, six, they're about a dollar each, but my friend um, in Iowa, he got me this box from the Berkeley Outlet store. It's 10 bucks for 150, so it's pretty sweet. Thanks, Josh. These ones have a scent to them, and if you don't have scented ones, you can throw some of this Alive on which I like to put on the plastics, or you can use any of the other um, flavors for it. I like these natural colors that are kind of like a gray, silver, clear type with a little bit of sparkle inside. You don't have to do much. I mean, in the water, this tail moves very readily. So just holding it there a lot of the times will get you bites. But the nice thing about these is you can cover a lot more area. And I think the, um, movement of that tail brings in fish from a further distance. I like to drop shot these about a foot to two feet above the bottom. And I just get so many more bites like this. And I, I can cover a huge area really quickly by using these. Um, but sometimes you don't really have luxury of um, space. Like if it's crowded and it's shoulder to shoulder fishing, you got to take the spot that you can and you fish that and usually bait's the way to go there. One bait a lot of people will recommend online is tube worms. Tube worms grow on the side of the piers and they're a pretty good bait. They're free, but a lot of times um, wherever people are fishing, they'll use those so there won't be any around on the piers. So you have to go find them. And a bad thing about that is they're unclassified invertebrates in Washington state. So you'll get $150 fine if you're caught using them or harvesting them. So to me, that makes it not worth it, especially when you consider how cheap other stuff is. Some other ones that I don't use that are still pretty good are gulp minnows. Um, I've, I use them sometimes, but they're not my favorite and it's more if I, they're in my bag, and if I don't have the, if I run out of the other baits that I've mentioned, I'll use the gulp minnows, but they're not my go-to. Uh, 
Another one I've heard is good, but I've never tried our clam mix, but I don't go hunting for clams. So you might want to give those a try. So yeah, that's everything that I like. And let me know in the comments which bait you like or any suggestions for how to use these. Uh, let me know and good luck out there. Thank you.